The future is here. One of our viewers sent us this video of Cal shoveling snow on his hoverboard today. Many of you enjoyed the snow day around Richmond. Drew Wilder joins us live tonight, learning how some people are using their downtime for the greater good. Drew, no hoverboards, but I hear you did find a man who has a unique snow day today. Yeah, unique, Kurt, and really awesome. One thing that we all love about Richmond is beautiful parks like Forest Hill and all the trails that move around it. Well, today, one Richmonder noticed that his favorite spot was in need of some work, so he turned his snow day into a service day to benefit all of us. Meet Miles. Well, you've met Miles before, but he looks a lot different this time. I'll explain that later. But meet Bomber. The snow day canceled any obligation the duo had, so the Forest Hill residents head down to one of their favorite spots. I've been walking by here with my dog for years. One of those beautiful Richmond spots where you sit back and drink in the tranquility. But, uh, Miles? Careful, it's icy. Most folks don't come down here while it's snowing. Kind of shame that no one in this neighborhood really gets to experience it with all these thorns and vines growing, tearing down the trees. And I just figured I would, uh, you know, come down here, clear a path, and, uh, make this place enjoyable for everyone. With a shovel, clippers, a saw. Bomber. Come on, buddy. And his fearless companion. Miles is clearing the overgrown brush and vines in Reedy Creek. They'd eventually pull down that branch and then work their way up the tree, start pulling down the tree, and this is a pretty nice tree, so we're gonna save it. Just gonna saw this off. This is the third time Miles has come down to Reedy Creek on his own time to restore this beautiful retreat. So that's a big one. Miles says a neighbor of his named David walks Forest Hill often and cleans up the area just because. The kind of thing you wish you saw more of. Speaking of seeing more of something, have you figured out where you recognize our snow day hero from? Miles, the last time we saw you on a snow day, you were <laughs> not appropriately dressed. My girlfriend at the time, she uh, used her phone to film me shoveling my sidewalk in my underwear just to make her laugh, you know. It kind of blew up. Yeah, it did. I, I had friends in San Diego. Oh, I had one friend in San Diego message me when he saw it, and then another in Atlanta. I got a lot of hate on the NBC website, though. People saying, I was crazy, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the club, man. Before we jump into the comments section and fill the world with our opinion on whatever, maybe now's a good time to jump back into the natural wonder surrounding us and fill ourselves up. You can come down here and just sit and watch the water flow. Maybe a little bit more private than some of the other parks. You know, still a beautiful area. And left it a little bit better than the way he found it. Miles wants everybody to know he's not tampering with the creek. He's just cleaning out the dead trees, getting the vines off of the healthy trees to make it a healthier habitat for all of the trees that are living down there. He's going to keep up that work until Reedy Creek is as beautiful as it can be. And if you take a look, we have some, uh, we'll call them brave souls out here in the middle of the night getting their snow day started. Some sledders just showed up to Forest Hill Park. Kurt, I heard them say that they have an extra sled, so once you get done with the news, I know these guys are ready to have you out here because I know how badly you want to get out here and enjoy this snow tonight. On your side and live in Richmond, Drew Wilder, NBC 12 News. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll see him about 20 minutes from now.